Hey friends. Hey everybody. How y'all doing out there in this wet if you're in the snow like I am? Okay, let me show you. <laughs> Gypsy's sleeping. Okay. Ugh. Yep. That's what I'm seeing here. I'm back in Cleveland. Yes, yes, yes. Today I went down to work on my booth down in Chili Coffee, Ohio. And now I'm back in Cleveland because I have to help out um, Christine. Oh my gosh, I got <laughs> incense floor and I'm gonna show you what I'm making this video here in a minute. But anyways, the house that's been under construction for over a month now is finally like she can move back in, but it's not finished. They'll have to come back, of course. There's some touch-ups and stuff. So, But anyways, today is the day that I'm gonna be helping her get stuff back into the house slowly. So I did take a shower. First one day, the new tub. <laughs> I don't care. I needed a shower. So, anyways, I'm excited um, that I still can't get into the back because they have a big pallet behind my van here. And I'll show you guys here in a little bit of that. Oh, my stomach is growling. Um, it's sand or something. I don't know. They're going to have to have a forklift. Somebody come and get it out of here. We'll take video. Um, of, I'm gonna, probably going to do that here in a little bit. But anyways, the, the reason why I jumped on <laughs> is because I had an idea. And I wanted to put this out there. And I'm sure somebody else is doing it. But <laughs> anyway, so I had this vase. And it's a thin stem vase, as you can see. And this is by Bats. It's a really pretty piece, but it wasn't selling. So I was going to want, you know, I was going to give it to my little gift to my daughter or whatever. But I had an idea. I had an idea. And I'm not I can't do it now, so if I keep it, I'm gonna I'm probably just gonna keep it and pack it away for future if, for my future home. Um, but I had incense and I just wanted to share. Look how pretty how the incense and the incense just fits right down in there. So perfect. The whole pack will fit in there. So y'all, if you got them skinny stem vases. Your incense, if you have incense, that's another idea. That's, <laughs> that's stupid. But I just wanted to share because I don't know why I never thought about putting incense in a vase. I'm not going to do it in here because it'll just get broken here in the van. So I'm just going to keep my incense in the bag. I'm probably just going to pack it away because it is a pretty vase and it's by Bats. It is a sign piece by Bats. She is an artist, I think, in California, is where I looked it up at. Um, but, anyways. I'm just excited because I finally got a shower after, I think, well, I've been washing up. I, I, I have my camp shower, and I've been finding ways to maneuver that in the basement to wash up, And but I was so happy to actually get into the tub and take a shower today. I was like, <laughs> um, so I look like human. My hair got a good scrub, so now it's like all red again. Every time I wash my hair, the red highlights, all that red comes out. It's so funny because then when it gets dingy, you can't really see it. It starts like fading, and then I wash it, and it's like, <laughs> and I don't know why I have so much red. I don't dye my hair at all. I haven't dyed my hair in at least, and it's been probably at a minimum eight years. Eight to ten years. Haven't touched my hair. And it just, I don't know why. It used to be darker. It used to be dark, dark brown to black. And now, it, it, when, because I am getting older, I know it's getting lighter. It's, of course, natural, but this is all natural hair color right now. And I have so much red. I'm like, where is this red? Because, see, <laughs> I never had red hair. But there are other times I could have. My daughter said, uh, mom, she goes, you don't touch mine either, and hers is doing the same thing. So I think, I don't know, maybe back in the day when I did dye it, it, it had, I think dyeing it does something to that maybe. I, I don't know. Well, whatever. It's all natural right now. I don't, I don't, and actually my hair is much healthier since I don't, um, so... Yeah, but anyways, we're back in the van, but this van, it's a 2001 Dodge Caravan. No, there's nothing spectacular about it. The headliner's falling in. It's not great. Okay, 
so let's go back to the end of December when all this went down my van I was heading down to Texas and I got down to Memphis and my other my original black uh, Chrysler uh, transmission went out on me so here's my options that I had down in Memphis I spent three days stuck in Memphis um, I stayed at Doug's automotive shop for like two of those days because the first day I got a tow down they told me to Firestone well Firestone ain't gonna help you they don't do anything um Firestone's crap so I had to drive my van with no transmission uh it was like a three minute drive but I just saw a drip are you kidding me I just oh my gosh yeah this van's not gonna this isn't gonna work for me Are you kidding me? Do you see this? Why? Why? No! 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 I'm gonna put a towel down here for now to catch this. Oh my gosh, it's coming through here. It's gotta be the windshield. I bet you anything that windshield's leaking. Anyways, I can't think about that right now. I don't really care. <laughs> I don't believe this. Anyways, I don't want to look at it. I don't care. It, not, it doesn't exist. So, <laughs> it don't exist. So, with the transmission going out, I was stuck at Doug, Doug's. I got down to his place. I had to drive it down there with no transmission, which was a fun three. It's a three-minute drive with a working vehicle, but it took a little longer because I could only get, like, 15 miles an hour, and then it, yeah, it was awful. But we got there, and I knew it was a transmission. We knew. We, we knew. We knew. So, they came back, and they were like, yeah. It's a transmission, $4,000 to get another transmission, blah, 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 blah. And, but they're like, well, it's going to take a week because right now it was like the middle of the week. It was like Wednesday and this had happened and they couldn't get it in. It would take about three days to get it there. So technically they weren't gotten it in until Monday. And then it would take another couple of days, whatever, to work out. Roughly, it would have been a week because I would have had to wait the weekend out because it was I would have already waited three days plus the weekend and then the days that they would be working out. Roughly a week, it would have been a wait. Camping out in the van on his lot for a week was not really an option because it wasn't really ideally located. I mean, I probably could have gotten it. I, I don't know. I probably could have gotten by with it, but... But then my van was pushing 300,000 miles, putting four grand in. I just, I was like, huh. So I asked if they had something. This was the only thing on their lot that they had. There was no other option. It was sink the four grand in that or just get this. And I got this for 2,000, 2,500 basically. And it still needs... But this does have 178,000 miles. So I can get some time out of this. So I, I just kept away my options like that. I was like, well, this will get me back on the road. It needs work, but it needs I can get back on the road and have running vehicle at least. You know, or wait a week if they don't want to run it. But then again, like I said, that one was pushing 300,000 miles. And I, was, I just wasn't too sure about putting... A new transmission into a 300,000 mile car would have been a great idea. So I figured, well, this was 178,000. We'll just get it for the 25, and then we'll probably, and we're going to be close by around the 2,000. I think we are around that mark right now, putting into it already because I had to fix the wheel bearing on it. I had to put an oil switch in it. Um, there's been, you know, new wiper blades, a new battery because the battery died on this when it got cold. And I had, it didn't, I had to get a tow. So we had to put a new battery in. And then the heat went out. And then that was, the heat went out because of the elbows and the, the tube, the hoses 
to the heat was gone, I guess, and it leaked. I don't know. So that's why I lost heat. Now I have heat now. I've got power. But we're still, I'm still figuring out this because the end of it keeps coming on. But I think, because they had mentioned whoever did this work on this van's motor before, they removed the EGR valve stuff because this, this van was down in Tennessee and Memphis. They don't do any checks on her. So this van up here won't pass any check because that's already been taken out. It's been deleted. But I don't have it registered here. I have it registered in Southern Ohio because they don't do e-checks in Southern Ohio. So this van needs to stay where it's not. There's no e-checks because it won't ever pass any check because of that reason. And you can't fix that. You can't fix. You can't take. You can't fix what they undid. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't really care right now. It's for finding me a place to sleep <laughs> and to be able to drive around. Ha, am I going to keep this van? No. No. Right. This is a temporary situation for me, but it may be a year. I don't know. Just have to see how life goes about and treats me if it's nicely and, and, it, and, and God throws me <laughs> a hell of a deal somewhere. On another van, on our home, something. Ah! Um, and I'm sure something's gonna, I'm sure. Gotta keep the faith. So, <laughs> Woo. and as far as the business goes, um, kind of switching little gears on that. I got rid of the Waverly booth because it just didn't seem to be vibing down there. Um, and I wasn't. Honestly, I was like petering out on the Waverly location. Chili coffee's starting to trickle down, have a trickle down effect for me. Um, so it may only keep chili coffee for another maybe two more months. I'm gonna keep, I'll probably keep it up until March. And I'm, I'm, I'm playing it out. Here's the thing: I'd rather have my own store, and because I, I really want, but my. I want to add a twist onto my store with a different vibe. I'm not going to put out my ideas. I'm not doing it. I just want to do something different. I'm going to do the same stuff, but I'm doing a twist and adding more stuff to what I do. And I'm not going to say, so you'll have to watch for any upcoming videos. Because I'm going to try, after I eat, you got to help her get back into this house. Because all my project pieces are in her garage. And can I get to my stuff? Hell to the no. It's in there. I can't get to the stuff. I can't work. I can't do anything until I help her get set up in the house and get everything out of the garage that needs to go back into the house. Then I can get back to work. So it's probably... I'm probably looking at another week or two weeks before I can even get back into my own vibe. Oh, which just sucks. But I'm going to start researching because I would like to have a storefront so I can do my thing. But I need some more. I, brr, and now this weather, I can't paint outside, so all the paint is going to be done in here. Because our house is done, I am not painting in the house with all that new work. No way. Mm -mm. So I, <laughs> all the painting is going to be done in my van. Can't work. And this sucks because I want to do furniture pieces and I can't do that in out there in the weather. All right. Hence why I need a space. I need workspace so I can paint and do furniture. Here's the thing. I want to turn furniture into other items. I'm not going to tell you what I want to do. It says you have to come back and see that video. But anyways, I'm going to go. And um, yeah, you'll have to come back and see what's going on. With I'll show you the mess. Now I'm back. It's bad. <laughs> All the construction. You can't get back. She is real.
She's worn out. I don't blame her. I thought I was going to come back to see. Because I came back this morning around 5.36 a.m. I think that's, yeah, that's about right. But I know by 6. And I'll just come back and go to bed, go back to sleep. First thing I did is I ran in the house to see if the shower was done. And I was like, yes. So that's what I did. <laughs> like, I warmed up the van for her, made her stay out here. And I went in and took a hot shower. I was so excited. But anyways, enough about my... You, you don't know until you miss it, okay? Y'all, 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 y'all. Yeah. So anyways, I'm going to go. I'm just rambling now. So I'll talk to y'all later.